what, a fourth morning here, I think now, right? Sure. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, fourth morning here. And we're at Ozima's. It was suggested by Worth It to come try the grilled rice balls. But being that it is kind of a brunch lunch for us right now and we haven't eaten any breakfast, we've decided to start off with I got tonkatsu, Lynn got teriyaki beef, and Ben got an oyakodon and our croquette. Yeah, let's give this a shot. And. It's all new? Yep. It's good. The portions here are massive. Yeah, so much bigger than I thought they would be. Thousand percent worth the price. All right, got it. The Charlene's beef. Mm. Oh yeah, that's amazing. Definitely a winner. Mm -hmm. What's that yellow sauce they put on the side? It's a little hot mustard. Oh, uh, you cooked me some. Mm -hmm. Just want to try a little bit of chicken. Sure. Yeah. Hmm. Alright. That was chicken skin. Still good. So this is uh, the Oyakodon chicken. Good flavor. Yeah. I like the sweet soy sauce that they use for that. It's not overpowering. Lynn's steak is like a real high cut of meat. Or even if it's flank steak, the, the way that it's just grilled, it's just so perfect. It really is like... Lynn's is definitely the best on the table. Yep. It also comes with macaroni and salad, which is a bit of a surprise. Mm. Feels very Hawaiian barbecue-esque. Yeah. I do like how thick the pieces of pork are mm -hmm. for the uh, tonkotsu. Or tonkotsu. Mm -hmm. I said that the sauce wasn't, um, was prepackaged. Mm -hmm. I don't just say it's bad. Mm. Tastes fine. Always looking for that same Mateo place, you know? Mm. So we got the macaroni salad. Mm. Mm. It's macaroni salad, it's good. Mm. And then plenty of greens here. We didn't have that much vegetables over the past couple days, I, I do realize. It comes with a cabbage salad. Mm. A welcome change of pace. <laughs> mm. Doesn't have dressing, and uh, yeah, it's good. We'll uh, check back in once the uh, rice balls get here. Alright, so we got the uh, barbecued rice balls. This one has mentaiko, the uh, fish eggs in it. <laughs> this is exactly what I thought it would be. Is. To me, this is great. It's too salty on this outside frame. Mm. It's got like a salt crust to it, so... They put miso on there, right? So soft. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Trying to get to the actual middle part. Mm. It's really good with the pickles. Yeah, it also came with some pickles, so... Yeah. You notice the three has a different taste, too. Mm-hmm. They put three different things. Also, tell it it's smart and they need all the Oh, typically when you cook the mentaiko, it gets really fishy, so I'm wondering how it's there. Yeah. Finally found it. Oh, that's, that's perfect. I like that so much. Slightly grindy, but still, yeah, okay. You want a bite? Sure. They grilled the salmon. Well, cool. Let's try it. So Lynn got a salmon one. Mm. Mm. Yeah. This is okay. Mine's better. Yeah. This, this is a lot nicer. I'm a huge fan of fish eggs anyways, or mentaiko. I thought this was going to be a win from the, uh, the get-go. Try it with the... with the... with the... Mm. 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 sweet, mm. Mm. salty. Mm. Solid. Well, we're pretty far out here, so we're probably going to be headed towards back towards the hotel after this. Don't know what's going to happen next. Probably going to be another meal check-in, so we'll uh, be back in a moment. All right, so we are at a little um, coffee shop here in Creatone Plaza. Uh, there are three levels to this place. It's a pretty big place. It's pretty awesome. It's right in the heart of Koreatown. And um, we came back here. We actually stopped by here earlier because there's an H Mart here. 
we ended up eating at the International Food Court. And uh, so as we were leaving, Charlie was just like, definitely coming back to this little coffee shop that has this awesome like shaved ice looking type of dessert. So we decided to grab one. We were having a really hard time deciding between the taro and the mango <laughs> flavor. Um, but I, th I think we're doing okay with this uh, taro one. But anyways, the taro one has boba, strawberry, uh, banana, and then clearly it has red bean and also... She just added that on for free. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, she's very polite about it because I was like, this has a lot more than I thought. Because there's also, I think, cantaloupe on it. Um, so yeah, so it looks all good. It looks like there's powdered taro mm. on top. Like, it doesn't look mm. like it's mixing. Yeah. But that's fine. Like, it's just for flavor. And then and there's color, right? condensed milk. Or, there's or did you say? Yeah, there's definitely condensed milk. I didn't get to that one. Um, I'm looking forward to this because I love boba. So let's, uh, let's dig in and, and see what it's like. Got to try and get in some of this ice here. Yeah. And... get a little bit of fruit of some sort. Mm. Definitely taro flavor. <laughs> the red bean is really light. I generally don't like red bean. I could eat this stuff all day. That's actually really good red bean. Really fresh cantaloupe and the boba is actually cooked a little bit chewier than I prefer but still appropriate. I think that's a good thing though because when boba gets cold it gets really hard. So I think the chewier they make it on top of ice the longer it's gonna last right. So uh yeah, it's, it's pretty good, pretty tasty. It's not as creamy as I would like it to be. Like, I kind of taste the condensed milk, but not really. The majority of it's ice, so. <laughs> so good, though. Solid. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Like, you know, Lynn already described it, so I'm just gonna bite here. Oop, oh, oh. Oh, was it? Yeah, it's everything I wanted to be. Yeah, it's huh? pretty refreshing. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's very refreshing. We got extra red bean just for the hell of it. Yeah, on, on the house. On a hot day. This is, uh, this is great. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's very nice. Yeah, perfect. The, the ice is really nice and soft. And Lynn said that the condensed milk was a little light. I agree. For the red bean and the strawberries make up for it, I feel, uh, that sweetness. Yeah, I mean, you can see the condensed milk. Like, yeah. it's 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 definitely there, yeah. but uh, it's just very, very light. Yeah, the fruit makes up for that sweetness, though, mm -hmm. I feel. But anyhow, um, we already kind of have dinner planned for tonight, so uh, we'll probably see you there next. All right, and we are at BCD Tofu House. It's pretty cracking in here. It's right next to our hotel. We actually walked by it to go to get the binsu earlier. We ordered two barbecue meats and a seafood pancake. It's quite loud in here. I hope you can actually hear me. But the barbecue actually comes with soon tofu soup, and the rice came out in these awesome little, like, stone bowls that you actually uh, pour tea into it afterwards after you, you take the rice out. So that's what you're seeing here. The sides are fantastic, uh, laid out, fantastically laid out. And uh, yeah, let's take a bite of the bulgogi. Oh, it's hot. But the flavor is spot on. And the kimchi is okay. Let's see, we got fish cake. That's really good. What looks like a regular pickle. A little different. Still good. There's something red on top of cabbage. And I'm not actually familiar with what this is. It's good. There's like a fishy flavor to it, but the flavor is spot on. It also has a garlicky aftertaste. Just eat the whole bottle. Yeah. And then I believe this. Oops. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's very hard to pick up. Just stab it. I believe this is actually a jellyfish. <laughs> so. Nothing's <laughs> agar. No. Oh. Agar. Yeah. Agar. 
That's awkward. That's awkward. That's awkward. Yeah. That is a gelatinous jelly source. Not jellyfish, though. Jellyfish is crunchy. Yeah, it's really good. And then the soon. <laughs> Salmon. Yeah, so they marinate it in that. Um, that what's that sauce called again? The red sauce. Gojujang. Gojujang. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It looks like the squid stuff you got earlier. Mm-hmm. But, well, try it and see. Mm. I don't want. <laughs> the soon is really good. The mild is very mild. Are you gonna try the fish. Awesome. I haven't gotten there yet. I'm gonna try the. Uh, this is the uh, galbi. Right there, Ben cut it up for me. Oh yeah, solid. Put a little kimchi. I don't know if it's as good as kuchis. Uh, I got kuchis all the time, and I actually prefer that over this. And now the fish. They give a whole fried fish with each order of barbecue. The amount of food that you get is totally worth the price. So. The price seems high, but. Oh. It's good. The fish is good. It's really nice. Yeah. Oh, this this is a perfect meal. And with the amount of it, I think it's just perfect for the three of us. So, we also have a. Oh, we still have a seafood pancake coming. I did forget, yeah. All right, we'll check back in when that bad boy comes. <laughs> so, not like five seconds have passed since uh, I just stuck the camera and then the seafood pancake came. I actually just cut into it immediately. That's why all these shots. It was actually one nice piece prior to me doing that. Let's give it a little shot here. Mm. That is solid. Yeah, that's, that's great. Okay, I've just got like fried onion in there. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. All right. Well, I guess I'll. Uh... Well, that, that's it for tonight. We're done. We're going back to the hotel after this. So probably they're gonna just watch like Netflix or do maybe some more work and call it a night. So short vid today. We'll be back uh, tomorrow.